cherish these moments for the rest of my life and that is why I'm so thankful that we vlog because anytime I start to get emotional, I'll think of that I have all these memories captured. <laughs> Happy Sunday, welcome to today's video. Today we are all dressed up and we are headed to family Christmas photos. We are taking our photos for our Christmas card this season and I can't wait for you guys to see how good everyone looks. Everybody wanna show? Come here. Camden looks all spiffy. Lincoln looks all spiffy. Cassidy looks gorgeous. And Tatum looks so handsome. And then the man of the hour, Yours truly, the Baca, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> oh man, my family is good looking. So we're all ready for family Christmas photos and this is special because this is gonna be our last Christmas here in Dallas, like official Texan residence. It's so crazy, but y'all, it's official. Our house is currently under contract we have a seven day option period where they can pull out at any time. They had the inspection last night. And yeah, we should know in seven days if it's officially official, but we are under contract. It was only listed for 12 hours. We posted it at 10 at night and by 10 in the morning, we already had the people that were gonna be the new owners in the house. They wrote us a special letter and they have twins. We feel like they're the right family to take over. They're both uh, my age. Yeah, they're eight. They're gonna take over the Baca homestead and we're so excited for them. But we're gonna spend our last Christmas and Thanksgiving here at our house. It's gonna be really special memories for us. So, let's get in the car. Okay, ready? No smiling. Serious. I'm so glad it's broken because these are my favorite to eat. I know a broken candy cane children won't want it, but did you know if you eat a broken candy cane, when they get in your stomach, they put themselves back together? <gasps> it is a fact, and now this one's gonna be mine. Mm. This one. <laughs> no, just one, just one. There's so many other kids. You get one, sis. But you know what you can have? You can have one of these. Oh my goodness, a oh sticker. My, we say extra things. Thank you. Extra. Oh, it wouldn't be criminal if I didn't have swag. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> swag. Gibbies, gibbies. 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 Yeah. Can you guys tell Santa and thank Jessica you. thank you thank so much? Thank you. You are so welcome. I missed you guys. I know. I'm going to tell you a secret. <laughs> how, I'm going to tell you how to get more toys for Christmas. You have to do three things. This is real important. You got to be real good, do everything mom and dad tell you to do, and keep your rooms clean. Here's why. From time to time, I pop in and make sure you're safe. Dirty rooms have got too many toys. Clean rooms need more toys, and that is the secret, okay? Oh. Be real good, do everything mom and dad tell you to do, and keep your rooms how? Clean. Because clean rooms need more toys. Now, Pinky Promise with Santa counts twice. <gasps> Do we have a deal here? Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Bring it in. Say yes, sir. That's the same as signing a contract. Yes, now, sir. Now, they that did was so amazing. good. You guys did amazing. Now we are starving. Kids, let's celebrate and cheers to a new chapter in our lives. Cheers. We're getting ready to close out a chapter. Cheers, Linky. I love you guys. I love you. We're moving to Florida, guys. Good afternoon, guys, and happy Tuesday. Welcome to today's vlog. Today is kind of a sentimental day. I'm just feeling all the feels lately since we've finally gotten under contract with this house. Just looking at the amazing memories we've built in this house in the last seven years and made in Texas, I think it finally hit me like, 
we're not gonna be Texans anymore. <laughs> we're gonna be Floridians, but we've created so many amazing memories here in Texas. And throughout the next six weeks, we're gonna take you guys on adventures and we're gonna show you guys like the last 13 years, what we created here because we moved here to Texas 13 years ago. We started this huge life just the two of us, <laughs> and then we had four beautiful children. We've owned two houses, we've lived in high rises, we had our beautiful babies, we've started new businesses. There's been so much that's happened here in Texas that we will cherish these moments for the rest of my life, and that is why I'm so thankful that we vlog, because anytime I start to get emotional, I'll think of but I have all these memories captured. And one memory is five years ago, Lewis gave me a tree for our anniversary. And you may think a tree, it was the most meaningful gift I'll ever get because every year I watch it get even taller. I watch it get even more leaves and every fall, all the leaves fall off. It turns the most beautiful colors that I'm gonna show you guys, but I love that tree. And I know that the next family that moves well, the family that's going to move into this house, I hope they cherish that tree just as much as we have. And thankfully, we'll still be friends with our neighbors that I can run over there and see the tree. <laughs> but it's so gorgeous. I want to show you. We had this planted five years ago. And you can see it was full of leaves this weekend and it's already starting to lose them. But it's the most vibrant, 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 tree I've ever seen. You see green, it's kind of darker brown color. You can see it's green, kind of the darker brown, the reds, the yellows, the oranges. It's so gorgeous. I love this tree. I'm going to miss this tree. And like I said, for the next six weeks, we're just going to try to go down memory lane and think of all the amazing memories we've built here. I didn't think I would be this emotional. And it's just a house. It's just a house. But knowing that, like, my kids walked for the first time here. Tatum walked at the other house for the first time. So I know I can get through it. I know I can. And I know this is such an amazing adventure. And we're so blessed to be able to move and make more memories as a family. It's just I'm more sentimental than Louis is. I kind of, like get attached to things. I didn't move much as a kid. I only moved twice and I get like attached to things and knowing that we made so many memories here, but I can't wait to see what the next adventure is. And I think that's what's like makes me nervous is because we don't know what that next adventure is going to be. We know we're moving to Florida and I think that's what makes me kind of anxious is we don't know what the next adventure is. We know it's in Florida and we know it's in Santa Rosa Beach, but we don't know what the house is yet. We just kind of wanted to put this house on the market and see what it would do. Um, we kind of figured it would sell fast. I didn't think 12 hours would sell that fast, but knowing that we know what we're gonna do, but we don't know of the house yet um, gives me butterflies, but I know everything is meant to be. And when we put this house on the market, we said, if it sells, it's meant to be. If it doesn't sell, it's not meant to be. And it's sold. And we're like, what, what? <laughs> but we cannot wait for the new family to move in here. They have twins like we do, which I think it just, it's just so special that twins are moving out and twins are moving in. This is such a great house and we can't wait to see all the memories they make. And we know that our time here in Texas is over and we cannot wait to move to Florida. We're so excited. I just get sentimental. I just get kind of attached to things, but this gives me at least six weeks. We have, we have to be out by December 31st. So it gives me some time to take all the pictures, take all the video, box everything up, work, do all the things, but we're going to get it done. And I'm just so thankful that we vlogged and we can capture these memories. Cause I would be a wreck if I didn't have these memories to look back on. Oh, I was going to scare him, but <laughs> what's up? Good. Good. Did you beat daddy home? Yeah. yeah? 
You guys may hear noises in the background. It's just my computer. I'm working. But I wanted to sit down. And you may hear Lewis in the background. The kids are all playing uh, basketball outside with Lewis. And Lewis gets a little intense. I kind of wanted to give you guys an update on this month's cycle. If I ever took a test. If we in fact got pregnant. And like I said before, this cycle I didn't want to test. I just wanted to wait to the official date. Which would have been yesterday to start testing. I had and used my progesterone tablets that I inserted for one week and then Monday, which was yesterday, I would have gotten a positive pregnancy test or if I didn't get a positive pregnancy test, I needed to get off the progesterone and within a couple days I would start a period. But what had happened was yesterday came and I started getting intense cramps. Now, like I said before in all my other videos, or if you haven't seen any of the videos of us trying to conceive, I've had very irregular periods for the last year and a half. And honestly, I have not bled much. Like my last period, well, I skipped four months of periods. My last period was September 16th. I only bled for two days. They were like small, not a lot of blood, nothing crazy, not really any cramping. But yesterday I started getting these like intense cramps and I was like, man, I feel like I'm starting my period. Like how I used to start my period, like back in the day before all this started. And then that night, last night I got my period like intense. And then the doctor called because I had called to say like, Hey, I started my period. So they called and let me know that I needed to make sure that I was not pregnant because they didn't want me to stop taking the progesterone tablets if I was in fact pregnant. So they made me go to Target, or they didn't make me, but I went to Target, I got a pregnancy test, I took it, nothing came of it. I didn't even vlog it because I kind of knew I, I was like heavily bleeding last night. So I knew like I wasn't pregnant. I knew it, this was an actual period. So when I went to the fertility doctor and she had checked everything, um, she had said my lining was really thick and I needed to clear it all out. So the progesterone, I guess, really jump started a good period, which hopefully that means that this time around, maybe we will get pregnant. So I talked to my doctor last night. She told me to confirm I was not pregnant and we would take the next steps. So the next steps are, I had to call today because my insurance does not um, take any fertility stuff. So I had to call today and like go over like all the billing stuff. But this cycle, I'm going to start with letrozole. With letrozole though, I'm going to have a monitored cycle because I have had twins naturally by myself. I would be blessed to have twins again. However, having two sets of twins is a little crazy to me. Like, I don't know if I could do it. So we're gonna monitor it and if the letrozole like makes it where I have a lot of follicles and I could have a high chance of having multiples again, then I will probably skip the cycle, but we are just going to monitor everything just since it's my first cycle. We're gonna see what my body does. I do have a lot of follicles, so we're just going to monitor everything and just make sure we're good. So that is the update on the baby making. We are just onto a new cycle. I have never had a period like I have now. It's like back to when I was younger, like in my high school days and I'm having all the cramps. I feel ucky. I am bleeding like crazy. I haven't had a period like this in a long time. So I guess that, I guess that all this needed to come out. So that's a little update. We are not pregnant and hopefully maybe this cycle will get pregnant. If I don't get pregnant this cycle, we're probably going to hold off because then we're gonna be moving and we're gonna be doing all of that. And then it's gonna be my sister's wedding coming up within, well, not coming up anytime soon, but if I was to get pregnant the first of the year, it will be her wedding when I'm delivering the baby and I'm just trying not to do that. So this is my cycle. Guys, this is my cycle. Hopefully before Christmas, we'll be saying that we're welcoming a new baby into our family. If not, it's all in God's timing. God's timing for everything. So I need to get back to work. Our neighbors brought us over some cake. 
You guys want to sing Lily and happy birthday? Ready? One, two, two. three. One, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, dear Lily. Happy Oh, that's good. Like, did, she oh. make, did you make this, Betty? I bet she did. Betty, did you make this? Did you make this? Did you make this, Betty? So good. Are you broke for it? Are you broke for it? Why did you make it, Lillian? Mm.